hello sorry about that I, I, I just had to um, I had to cut the video I think it was it was way too long but anyway just to, to to carry on from where we left off in the previous video um, the, the next thing to do is to um, well once once you build or, or once you you actually install your application using and the next thing to do is obviously to create a, to, to create a, a, an admin account which which I've already done but I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly show you how to how to go about doing it and how you do it is you essentially run the dispatch command uh, within the uh, within the uh, the location where you store dispatch uh, and you feed it the create and administrator command and what will happen basically is uh, uh, you, you, you'll be uh, prompted a series of uh, uh, a series of uh, a series of uh, uh, questions um, that, that are fairly uh, straightforward okay so our administrator account has been created there um, and then the next thing to do is uh, this is basically the, the, the last part is for you to pretty much uh, you know publish the uh, the individual uh, DSpace web applications uh, to the Tomcat web app uh, uh, web apps folder seeing that uh, the only way you can actually access uh, this space is by a web browser of course, the web application. Uh, and there are two, two options. <coughs> um, they're, they're clearly outlined in the manual, but what I normally like to do, uh, or the method that I'm comfortable with, uh, is one that involves you specifying uh, 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 document based directories and then, uh, f uh, you know, uh, that, that are fed to uh, individual context paths that you. You, you specify, and um, of course, in a test, a test situation like this one, it really doesn't matter which particular web apps you choose to publish. I mean, a production server might uh, want to seriously consider which particular uh, web applications you might want to publish. Uh, um, I mean, in a, in a normal case, you obviously would want to choose between the XML UI and JSP UI because it really doesn't make sense to have uh, uh, these two components installed, installed seeing that you can only use one um, at a time. And of course, if you have intentions of uh, making your repository sold uh, compliant, you might also consider publishing these particular applications. Um, if you're interested in statistics, of course, you go for that particular web app. And if you want to make your repository OAI compliant, uh, you need to install the OAI uh, uh, web app. And so back to, um, to the context parts that we uh, define, just copy them up and then we, we, we just quickly navigate to the Tomcat config folder there and then open up the, so the, sorry, the server.xml file and all you need to do is just scroll down to and the end tag of the host uh, element uh, and just uh, paste uh, the context parts that you define and then save, um, save the server.xml file. <coughs> Next thing to do is obviously to uh, restart Tomcat uh, in the event that it wasn't stopped. Um, so you restart it, you stop and uh, start it um, and then you should be able to uh, quickly pick out or pick up the uh, um, uh, the different uh, uh, web applications. So if everything went according to plan we should be able to see uh, 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 the XML uh, user interface. Ah, there we go. Um, so that's that's basically it. I mean, uh, and of course you use uh, the uh, username that you configured on the command line using the uh, create admin uh, option of the dispace uh, executable to basically uh, log in into your 
uh, into the back end of your repository. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm, I'm logged on right now. So uh, thank you so much, and I hope this particular uh, series of videos was uh, helpful. Uh, feel free to uh, post a question if you have questions, and I'll try my best to answer them. And of course, uh, comments are welcome. Um, yeah, just in case I uh, I said something I shouldn't have said.